If I do find a nearby site of grace, I'll probably come back for him. But For now, I'm more concerned about getting to the top of this bit and then further down towards the uh, tree. Yeah, it is up here. Hmm, okay. Before the earth tree, there's a swampy area. Ah, so this is just a forest where those headless giants are wandering around. Just casual enemies. Still going to go down the avoidance path for now. Is there a grace here? I hope so. Come on, there's got to be one here. That's annoying, surely now. So these are these are all gateways. They are. Oh wait, no. There's a chest here. I hope it's not a tet oh, I was going to say, imbued sword key. So that's a, a higher tier sword key, I guess. This guy's still wandering around. Is it the case that maybe the grace isn't showing itself because I haven't beaten that guy? It's possible. But honestly, I'd rather not ride back here if I die. This is a very interesting area. But I think he's not going to leave me alone. But I'm surprised there isn't one here. Sucks. Okay, so what's the deal here? Um, crumbling lands. So I guess you probably have to use the imbued sword key and you get to choose which gate you go through because I think I've only got one sword key, right? Yeah, I've only got one. Uh crumbling lands. Do they all have a message thing? They do. Precipice of anticipation. That that's that almost sounds familiar. Honestly, there's so many bloody places in this game and so many names. I don't remember half of it, but I do remember a precipice. Night sky unceasing. Oof. I've only got one choice, so I've got to <laughs> I've got to choose well. God knows when I'll get the next key. So the top belfry was the one with the chest. I have to pick one of these three. Hmm. Night Sky Unending does sound really dope. I think I've got to go for that one. This is the right one, right? Yeah, unceasing. Let's do it. Man, I could end up somewhere absolutely horrible and just instantly die, but let's see. Let's go. I missed these sort of teleportations where you don't know what's going to happen on the other side. I wish there was kind of two or three more trap chests, to be honest. There probably are, but I just haven't encountered them yet. Oh my god! I made it to Nokron. What the fuck? What the fuck? Guys! I'm in Nokron! I thought Nokron was still this bit, but maybe there's a way there from here. 
Oh, shit. Well, that was a good choice. To be fair, you could have guessed it from from the message. I mean, this is night sky unceasing right here. But I'm a bit worried <laughs> navigationally. This is not the kind of terrain that I'm used to trying to traverse in this game. And I'm already worried I'm going to screw something up and just fall to my death. But I want to report to Blade. Man's tried all the gates. Is that him over there, I wonder? I'm not even sure. I mean... I'm hoping that I don't... This is still a higher level than, like, where I encountered the boss and shit. Like here. Yeah, I think that's probably the only way still. This thing is, uh, this part is isolated, so I kind of have to keep moving. I've got the horse, but it seems a bit too fiddly for the horse right now. This would probably be, probably be a good place to, to have online on, so you can see where people slipped off and died. <laughs> but this was a good find. There is someone to fight there. I'm hoping this is just a... Okay. Ooh. Again, no sights of grace here. So if you die, it's a bit of a long road back, and I do have a lot of runes here. Urgh. I'm hoping it's an NPC. I don't want to fight. Let's at least grab this item and stuff. Nice. Is that is that a talisman? Yes. Uh, robustness, immunity, and focus. Vividly colored recruitment, precious to the ancestral followers. Raised immunity is said to be the budding horn. The ancestral followers believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. I think it's the same beast that's, uh, that's there, actually, that we need to awaken. Now, do I have a sacrificial twig? Yeah, it means if I die here, I'm in, I'm in trouble. I want to see if I can target this guy. It's looking like it's going to be a fight, and I don't like that at all, but, yeah. Now, it still begs the question, how do we get to... So strange. It's not even marked properly here. I mean, we have no idea what level this guy is. He could absolutely destroy us. But I'm pretty sure there's no other way here. What I'll do is I will take him on, but I'll try to stick closer to, to this bit. I'll make him come to me because that way, at least if I die, I can get my runes back and probably escape here more quickly. Let's see if it's a named boss when you get close. Oh man, it's another flipping crucible knight. It's guarding it the whole way. Okay, he is very slow, so we can kind of toy with him a little bit here, I think. He doesn't really have the balance, uh, the speed, I think. He's going to clip through the walls and shit, as they do. You know how it is, but I think we can kind of mess with him a little bit. I was kind of hoping the rock would be able to throw him off his stride.
But yeah, very much like the Crucible Knight here. But I want to see if there's anything beyond him as well. Doesn't seem like it. same trick as well. Whoa, he's got even more tricks. Sephiroth. But with this guy, I'm always a bit too scared to get close to him. Yeah. He just doesn't leave you many windows to attack. Yep. Yeah, it was bound to happen. Now, there's no sights of grace, man. Why are there no sights of grace? I haven't encountered one at all during that entire section. That's so baffling. Look at look at where I ended up. It's it's odd that there isn't any across that entire area. So I'll probably edit ahead to when I get back there because it's gonna take a little while, but it's a bit frustrating. I think I will try and take that guy on, but only if I can find a site of grace. I'm not gonna do this every five minutes to beat that one guy. It's a really long road back. Because there really doesn't seem to be a sight of grace here. Oh wait, there, there was, I just didn't see it the whole time, or it counted me as being in an encounter with that guy so it didn't let me. In any case, I'm happy about that. Um, actually, Rock Blaster. Yeah, we can always try a Gravity Weld, see if that helps. I don't know what happens when to these guys when they get Gravity Weld. Does it sort of interrupt them? They get a bit stuttered from it, or they just continue doing exactly what they're doing, and it's a really bad idea to claw them towards you. I don't know. But we'll find out. So I think it was this one. But I think especially because I have the runes, I've I got to get back there. I feel like if I win, I'll be able to get enough runes to get a level up. So it feels like it could be worth it. I do wonder if there's a way to make him fall off. I'm a bit curious about that. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. It's been a while since I used this, but maybe the the range will be the range will be nice. So let's go for this one this time. Here we go. Uh, 
Ah, uh, you see that shield, man. Yeesh. So I did good damage with it, but it's a high delay move. And I think the reason I love Blood Slash so much is because there's so little delay. So I think the odds of me pulling it off with that one is going to be less. I still got to use my Blood Slash, man. It's the best tool I have. We keep medium load here by using these, so why not? With this, my poise goes up to 38. Alright, here we go again. Honestly, the only problem here is that... How do I get out of this bit? I kind of forgot about this. I don't think there's a, there's a way back here. Let's just say you're like, you know what? I've had enough of this place. I don't want to fight this guy. I want to take my runes and run. I think you're stuck. So maybe you have to beat that guy to unlock something in the first place. Yeesh. I could be here for a little while. So I mean, there's nothing else around here. I don't even know how this works. I guess you can... It, does it allow you to teleport? It does. So it's not so bad, I guess. But probably once you trigger the battle, then you're not allowed to teleport again. So... Gotta watch out. We can always try and get a couple cheap hits in with this. Yep. Yeah, that's a high risk move, but there is a bit of a delay between the first and the second one, so it does give you a little bit of a window. Sephira. Yeah, so that's the same thing that I did against the Crucible Knight. It gives you a nice window there. Right, here we go. Not this time. But that's the window. Way too far away that time. But we're wearing him down here. Ah, that's unlucky, man. That's unlucky. Again, RNG there. If he chose to do another move instead, I would have got away, for sure. That's the one move there that could have killed me. I think I'm going to change my um, flask distribution here. I need more. I can definitely beat this guy. I mean, because I beat the, the Crucible Knight, I'm 99% sure I can beat this guy. It's not that big a deal. But again, we have to spend maybe like two minutes every time to get back to it, which, again, doesn't sound like a lot, but if you do 10 attempts, there's another 20 minutes of recording time for me and another 20 minutes wasted in general. So I'd rather get this done, for God's sake. I don't even know how to do gestures. I, I, I don't get it. Like, you've got this menu here, but I've tried to do some of those moves and it's done nothing. So I don't know. The only gestures I've done so far have been accidental or when I've actually gone into the gesture menu to do it. 
I would say it's not important, but I mean, you literally need to use them for side quests, which surprised me, but it's also fair enough. Okay, this time I need to have a good attempt. I've got to be patient again. So last time I attempted something a bit more risky where I went in after the first attack of every combo. And even with uh, with Blood Slash, it's just not quick enough. So we have to be more careful. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you see that damage though, even with the brass shield. And he's surprisingly quick. You think to yourself, like, if I'm sprinting away, I should be fine. But you're not. He's never too far away. It's just with him, I struggle to know how many hits he's going to try and do. Fuck you, man. I feel like I've dodged that almost every single time. That's the first time he's killed me with that combo, I think. It's annoying when you have things that you know that you can dodge, and you've dodged a lot of times before, but then you fail. <sighs> Typical good attempt, and then a few shit one syndrome. So this means I just got to push through, through these shit attempts, and within the next 10 minutes or so, I'll have another good one. Almost invariably the case. So like, it's fairly easy to dodge, but it's the sort of... It's the finding windows that's the hardest bit. You see, he's so quick to stomp. He double stomped. Fuck you, double stomping dickhead. Look at that. Oh. RNG, man. He has not double stomped like that in any of the attempts. He's a horrible bastard. He really is. It really does remind me of the early Crucible battles. And I mean, this is how I beat, I beat Crucible Knight. I mean, I did that like, what, 10 hours ago now. But this uh, more souped up version is trouble. And it's funny because he's not even a named boss, but clearly he's stronger than the Crucible Knight, because oh, look, I did a gesture again by accident. Um, he's clearly stronger because I'm stronger than before and I'm finding it harder. Part of me wants to, to use a stomp attack of my own. The Ice Hatchet. I kind of want to use it. I might even give it a go. Just to mess with him. Because I did upgrade the hatchet a little bit. So we'll see what happens with this stomp. I'm kind of curious. See if I can get a little bit of extra damage out of it. At least I can pretty much always get my runes back. But I feel like the delay is going to be a big problem, but... Wow, he hasn't even attacked yet. That's not bad. Yeah, he gave me one of his own. He's saying two can stomp that game. But yeah, you see, when you time it right... It switches into that mode so fast. But I think because he's a... F oh shit, I pressed the wrong thing. I think he's a fire guy. Ah, 
that's a shame. I was going to say, we've, had, we've done a lot of this kind of fighting, and this hasn't happened at all. But you see the, the Stomp put in good work there. That was a, it all went wrong when I started using the wrong flask. Messed up my rhythm. But the Hatchet could prove to be interesting here. I've, I have a feeling he is weak to ice as well, because he's a fire breather. So you saw that 554 damage I got when I timed um, the move correctly. So that's also an interesting one. I can keep my distance, and I can kind of wear him down a little bit with that. So that could be interesting. But for this one, the, getting the runes back is going to be a little more dangerous. Let's see how we do. I really need this win. It's been the first time for a little while now that I've been repeating a boss like this. So I think it's good to get back into that grind a little bit. I always enjoy it to a degree. Especially with ones where it feels like you can win. I mean, I know for a fact I can win this one. There's no doubt in my mind. It's just a matter of time. They gave me my runes even earlier here, so fair play. Gimme, give gimme. Give Yeesh. He's such an aggressive son of a bitch. combination. Yeah, that was pretty much perfect timing. Yeah, you don't like that. Again, trying to use his aggression against him. He's so ready to like lift his sword and attack me that I can get some decent damage out of it a lot of the time. So working pretty well so far. going to beat me. Not happening, buddy. There you go. So thank you to the Ice Hatchet for that one. It's a nice win. Sometimes you've got to work smarter, not work harder. But, <laughs> I mean, is this it? They've, they brought me to this place to be able to beat this guy. And that's all I get. So Nocton does continue to elude me, I guess. Ugh, so close, but so far. I really thought maybe beating him will unlock something, but... You have no choice but to just kind of teleport back, I guess. Pretty sure there's no way down from here, either. Yeah. It's tantalizingly close, but not quite. Speaking of close, at least I'm close to another level up now. But unfortunately, we're going to have to just leave this place here. Nothing more to do that I can see. I was hoping to give Blade some good news. 
but yeah, there's there's literally no way out of this bit. Once you come down here, you just fight that guy, and that's pretty much it. And he didn't even drop anything for you, man. No talisman, no equipment, no nothing. So fuck this place, seriously. I'm I'm annoyed now. I came here for three thousand rooms. I spent fifteen, twenty minutes on it for that. Rubbish. Yeah, we definitely can't do anything. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here. Um, I guess if I ever find another key, I'll be able to... I'm sure I'll be able to visit some more gates and see what the deal is. Now, this is the place. going to head back towards the next Erd Tree avatar as well. But yeah, that hatchet, man, did a good job. Okay, I think now we can keep rolling, and we'll head down towards the earth tree and see how we do. So at least I guess we kind of got to Nocton, and we also kind of didn't get to Nocton. I really don't know. <laughs> I hope there wasn't like something more I could have done there, and I just didn't realize it, but... I looked around as best I could. So that's the earth tree that we're after. 